The easiest way to generate new subscribers for your newsletter is to use the free registration form generator. The registration form that I build here can be integrated into my website. New contacts are then saved directly into my newsletter to go address book. The registration form generator is located in the account menu under forms. I can see previous registration forms that I've used and can also build a totally new one. Before I get started, I want to talk about an important legal requirement. The registration form is part of the so-called double opt-in registration process. This means that people who sign up for my newsletter will receive a confirmation email containing a link. They need to click on that link in order to be added to my address books. To create a new registration form, I click on New Form. Creating the form follows in three steps. In the first step, I give my form a name and choose which double opt-in confirmation email should be sent to my new subscribers. I've already created this email, which you can find in another video tutorial. I also choose here which address book or which group new subscribers should automatically be added to. When people subscribe to my newsletter, they won't have to leave the website where they found the form. I can use the fields below to communicate with my new subscribers exactly how I like. I can decide the text that should appear following a successful registration, if the user has already registered, or if there's a generic error. In the second step, I can start building my form. If I want to make the email input field mandatory, I select the drop-down menu and move the slider to green. I can also add a pre-populated placeholder, such as example at mydomain.com. If I want to add more attributes, I click on add another attribute. I then select the attribute from the drop-down. I can click the attributes and drag them up and down depending on where I'd like them to appear on the form. Clicking on the trash can icon will delete the attribute. To label the button, I click on the drop-down menu to edit the text. For example, I can change it to sign up. In the last step, I see JavaScript snippet code, which I can build into my website. I can also upload it to my website as a pop-up. If I don't want to make the registration form part of my website, I can also link to the form URL. The URL is at the top of the page. Clicking on this link will take the user to my registration form. In the next videos, learn about unsubscribes, bounces and blacklists.